In this review, we're taking a look at Pioneer DJ's Record Box 6. It's a big new update to the music management and DJ performance app. It comes with interface tweaks such as a new waveform color scheme called 3-band and new icons at the top for accessing advanced features. Record Box 6 now also comes with three subscription plans, free, core, and creative. But the biggest new thing on here is the Cloud Library Sync feature. This lets DJs upload their entire music collection to the cloud and have it available to stream or download on up to four devices running either Rekordbox 6 on your laptop or the Rekordbox 3.1 iOS app on your iPhone. DJs can then choose to export their music to a thumb drive for spinning with media players in the time-honored way or DJ with them directly from laptop or even a phone. Your music and all the metadata, stuff like, you know, hot cues, key info, and so on, stay in the cloud. In this first look video, we'll explore how Cloud Library Sync works and why it's likely to be the one feature that changes DJing from this day forward, even though it will take a while for what it introduces to reach a tipping point. And then we'll also take a quick look at the new Rekordbox 6 interface and its new subscription model. So let's get right in. Okay, so first up, let's talk about Cloud Sync. Now, Rekordbox 6 is the first DJ app that lets you sync your library to the cloud. It works with Dropbox, which stores your actual tracks, and Pioneer DJ's own servers, which then stores your metadata. What this means is you can upload your Rekordbox library from your hard drive using Rekordbox, and you can access it using Rekordbox on your computer or the Rekordbox app on the iPhone. All you need is to have Dropbox enabled on your devices. Any changes you make to track metadata, like again, hot cues and key information, loops, that kind of thing, they all get synced with your cloud library automatically. Now, this is practical for a lot of reasons. First up, you can create and edit playlists and prep tracks on the move using Rekordbox for iOS or indeed any computer, wherever you are, as long as you're able to install Rekordbox and Dropbox on it. You can authorize up to four devices in the creative subscription, which is the top tier. We'll get into that later on in this video. Second, using Cloud Library Sync means that you've always got an up-to-date off-site backup of your DJ library. If you know your DJ laptop breaks, it gets stolen, or you accidentally wipe your hard drive, it still happens. You can simply re-download your DJ library and get back on your feet straight away. Now let me give you a quick tour of how Cloud Library Sync works. Cloud Library Sync works by utilizing two separate services, Dropbox to store your music and Pioneer DJ's own servers to store your metadata. Now, if you're not familiar, Dropbox is a cloud storage service. It's similar to iCloud and Google Drive. And Dropbox comes with a Dropbox app that you install on your computer. And what this does is it creates a Dropbox folder on your hard drive. So over in here, got the Dropbox folder. And anything that I place in this folder gets synced to the cloud. And when you're setting up Cloud Library Sync in Rekordbox, what the software does is it places your music in this Dropbox folder on your hard drive, which has a Rekordbox folder within it. You have the option to either copy your music files or to move your music files to it. And we're gonna talk about that in a little bit, but all of this happens automatically. And once they're in this Dropbox folder, that means you can access them using any other computer running Rekordbox 6. You just need Cloud Library Sync activated and you need to have the Dropbox app installed on that computer. The reason why you need to have the Dropbox app installed on that is because this will create the Dropbox folder on that computer. And that's where your songs will be downloaded automatically to the next time you do a Dropbox sync. And you can also sync manually by clicking on the Dropbox icon over in here. Now, when it comes to the metadata, Rekordbox just syncs with Pioneer DJ's own servers. And this updates every 30 seconds. So any changes you make to track data, like hot cues, labels, and loops, get synced automatically. You can also force it to sync just by clicking on the Rekordbox icon at the top of the screen. All right, so with that out of the way, let's go to Rekordbox. Basically, what I did last night was I uploaded my entire collection to the cloud. I've got 11,000 plus songs, and that took quite a bit of time, around 19 hours when I glanced at this while I was working. So I just kept it running overnight. I slept. But when I woke up around eight hours later, it was done. So obviously, it didn't take like an entire day just to upload. So that was good. And now, when I take a look at my tracks over in here, let's just pull up a playlist. You can see this little cloud icon all the way to the left. 
And this means that the track is already stored in your cloud library. And the first time that you enable cloud library sync, you get the option to choose whether you want Rekordbox to copy your music files from your music folder to the Dropbox folder on your hard drive, which is then synced to your cloud library, or to move your music files from your music folder to the Dropbox folder on your hard drive, which is then synced to your cloud library. So should you use copy or should you use move? Use copy if you're using other apps that point to those music files, like if you're using another Pizza DJ software. That means that your music files don't get removed from the current locations, so you won't have any lost file errors. This does mean, though, that you end up having two copies of the same file on your hard drive, one in your music folder and one in the Dropbox folder. Now, you'll want to use Move if you want to save space and if you're fine with moving your files from your music folder over onto the Dropbox folder. Again, the Dropbox folder still exists on your hard drive, all right? The only difference here is that the music files in this folder are synced with your cloud library. You can also change this later on just by going to the preferences. Go to library sync, and I can change it over here in the operation for uploading tracks section, right? Now I can just load these songs as I normally would. Let's just say, you know, put that in there. I can hit play. It works just as it should. And since this is stored in the cloud, any changes I make here are stored in the cloud as well and synced to my other devices. So let's say, you know, I want to remove this hot cue. I want to remove this one and I want to add like a new hot cue over in here. Just for the sake of this demo. Do that, and let's say I'm going to change this color. Turn this to red. Okay, cool. So we made those changes, right? Now all of that gets stored to the cloud. So whenever I open up my library on like another computer or on my phone, I'm going to see that change happen. So yeah, it's cool that I'm able to upload my entire record box library and playlists to the cloud, and that means you know I've always got a backup in there, which is awesome. But the cooler thing about it is that I can now access all of this, all of my playlists, all of my 11,000 plus songs. I can access all of that on an iPhone running the Rekordbox app or on a totally different computer as long as it's got Rekordbox 6 installed. So let's move on over to my other computer here in the studio. I've got an iMac and I just installed Rekordbox here like a few hours before recording this video. And as you can see, my collection is in here, it's got my tracks in there, and I've also got my playlists over in here. They're all visible, which is great. And again, all of this music is stored in my Dropbox folder now on my IMAX hard drive. Again, thanks to Cloud Library Sync, my entire collection is in here as well as all of the metadata. So let's open up this playlist here. And let's try loading that song that we made a change to earlier. We added like a hotkey to this one, right? Let's drop that in there. And as you can see, here's that hotkey that we added, hotkey B. So what I'm going to do now is let's just try to delete this hotkey. All right, so we've removed that hotkey over there. And later on, we're going to take a look at what this looks like over in our laptop. But right now, let's just try loading a track. So let's try loading this. And it loads pretty quickly. All right, so we tried loading some of the tracks in here, and we made this little change over into the hot queue. And Pioneer says that whenever you make a change like this, what happens is that change gets stored. In this case, removing this hot queue gets stored in the cloud as well, and it gets synced to all your other devices. And what Rekordbox does is around like every 30 seconds, it makes that change. And just as I was talking about it, my laptop over in here just removed the hot cue. So it does take a bit of time. But the cool thing, again, is that it syncs automatically. So that's pretty awesome. So before we end this demo, I just want to talk you through the three different types of cloud icons. These are the ones that you see beside a track. So if you see a solid cloud icon like this one, it means that the track is uploaded to the cloud and it's available for playback on all devices. If you're seeing a broken cloud icon like this one, that means that the track is stored locally, but it's not uploaded to the cloud and it's not playable on other devices or computers. 
Finally, if you see a faint broken cloud icon like this one, it means that the track is stored on another device or another computer and it's not uploaded to the cloud. So that means you can't play it on this device or this computer. All right, now let's talk about the interface really quickly. Rekordbox 6 comes with minor improvements to its GUI. You now have icons at the top of the screen for toggling effects, the sampler, the mixer, and the recorder. The waveforms also look like a mashup of Denon DJ and Virtual DJ waveforms. The smaller overview waveform looks similar to what you'd find on Virtual DJ 2020 as well as on a CDJ or XDJ screen, while the full waveform looks like what you'd see on a Denon DJ Prime screen, except you don't see any of the bright green associated with Denon DJ. The important thing about the waveforms is that they now let you clearly see low, mid, and high frequencies in a really simple way that they just didn't do before. Now on to the subscription model, which is probably the most contentious thing about this update. Recordbox 6 now comes with three subscription options. Free, Core, which costs $9.99 a month, and Creative, which costs $14.99 a month. So let's talk about Free. Free comes with both export and performance modes, though performance mode is limited to Pioneer DJ hardware that can unlock it, which tend to be more recent hardware. The list of hardware includes DDJ controllers, XDJ all-in-one systems, and cheaper DJM mixers like the DJM 750 Mark II and the DJM 450. Noticeably absent in the free tier and one that could possibly irk club DJs is performance mode compatibility with CDJ or XDJ media players as well as club standard DJM mixers like the DJM 900 Nexus 2. And this is exactly where the core tier comes in. It has everything free has plus the ability to spin with CDJs or XDJs and other DJM mixers in performance mode. Now if you're a turntablist who uses Recordbox DVS, you're also going to have to subscribe to Core because DVS control isn't available in the free subscription. Now finally, the creative tier is the priciest but also comes with the most features. You get all that Core has, plus you also get the new Cloud Library Sync feature and other Recordbox DJ add-ons that you had to purchase separately in the past. Stuff like Recordbox Lyric, Recordbox Video, and the RMX FX Suite. So which subscription is right for you? If you're a hobbyist or a gigging DJ who bought a DDJ controller or an XDJ all-in-one system, the free subscription will work just fine. If you're a club DJ who spins with CDJ or DJM setup using a laptop, or you're a battle DJ who uses turntables and DVS, Core will be your first choice. Now, if you want all that Recordbox has to offer, including the new Cloud Library Sync feature and all the other bells and whistles that used to be Recordbox DJ add-ons, Creative is what you'll want to take a look at. Recordbox 6 is a pivotal iteration of the app because it's the first time that Pioneer DJ has taken the lead in software in a long time. And the fact that cloud integration is where it's taken that lead, it's a coup for the company. Think of how photos are kept and synced in the cloud for many of us, from our phones and so on. They are still ours, but we use services from Apple or Google to keep them safely away from our local devices, at least as far as the master copy goes. And that's what Pioneer DJ is ushering in here, but for your own music. It wasn't long ago that Recordbox was a really basic music management app that many DJs who DJed on Pioneer DJ gear didn't even bother to use. And it's been improving and evolving rapidly. And right now, this version, Recordbox 6, this here is the one. You can't help but think that Cloud Library Sync in Recordbox is just one part of a much larger equation that involves more key pieces of the Pioneer DJ ecosystem. To not have an upcoming CDJ or XDJ media player with built-in Wi-Fi that accesses Cloud Library would be really, really surprising. Maybe we're closer than we think to that future of DJing where you, know, you can just turn up with like a pair of headphones, log into your accounts on a CDJ at the club, and start spinning with your music and music from streaming services too. So that's it for this first look review. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and please, please, please check out the full article over at the Digital DJ Tips site. I've got the link to that in the description box below. That's it for me. My name is Joey. Now get good, get out there and make the moments.